All right, y'all. I just watched the new Spider-Man movie, Across from the Spider-Verse, and let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, guys. I was hyped for it. I literally went to go see it this Friday in the premiere. I went to go see that bitch at 9 a.m. in the morning, and I had three hours of sleep. And let me tell you, it was worth it. Why? Because it's fucking Spider-Man, dude. So. The trailers and everything was great and everything, and then you know Metro Boomin, my man, the man, the myth, the legend, came out with that album. I literally listened to it, like, cause I went to bed at like at three, right? And the album came out, and I was like, bet. I listened to it, and let me tell you, Metro did an amazing job with this album, and I love almost the entirety of the album, like all the songs and everything. I love All The Way Live, mostly from um, Future and Lil Uzi. That's my favorite one out of the album. But I like the other two with 21 Savage too, because he's not also my favorite artist. But besides the point, the hype was so real, because me and my group of friends, we all went and everything. I literally spent $17 on a Spider-Man bucket. Did I regret it? Fuck no, because I Oh, it's so 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 much. I'm probably gonna use it like a fucking cereal bowl or something. But anyways, going into the movie, I was expecting, you know, how it is, but I forgot this was going to be a two-part film, so I was kind of a little bit disappointed at the end, and I am going to, to be talking about spoilers in this video, so please be, oh, um, please be uh, advised of things I'm about to say before I go into it. But, um, yeah, going in, like, let me tell you, the whole movie in general, I think it's a masterpiece. I think it's better than No Way Home. I think it is better than No Way Home. And I love that film. I love that film so dearly, mostly because of the second act. But, you know, the main plot of it wasn't too, too bad. But it's just like the second half of it was just great. And it just made the whole movie great. But this one, Across the Spider-Verse, just tops that on a whole new other level. When you get to see Sp the different versions, you get to see all the different versions of Spider-Man. Yeah, I, ne I didn't even expect to see the Lego version of Spider-Man. I was so hyped when I get when I when I saw the spectacular Spider-Man and his original voice actor talking. I'm like, ain't no fucking way. You get to see the Spider-Man from the Spider-Man PS4. You get to see the Prowler from like um, Tom Holland's trilogy of uh, Uncle Aaron, like the guy that uh, Peter was pretty bad at interrogating like he becomes like the prowler in that universe and everything and there are so many different references of different versions of spider-man like you get to see that there's spider there was like spider-man unlimited there was damn i should have recorded this like on the day because it's today's sunday uh, so i'm trying to remember everything that i can because it's just like i gotta talk about it because it is so fucking good i loved it like the nostalgia factor went through like you if you think no way home beats the nostalgic factor this film tops that it no like this film literally tops into the spider-verse because the color pal the color palettes was so amazing like how they messed with the colors and everything and the color pattern too was great um the animation went on a whole new whole new other level i was just like damn like, and I forgot how Into the Spider-Verse for us. I know it was good, but in, across the Spider-Verse fucking went to a whole different other level. Like, I'm telling you, the animation, the animators went crazy when they animated this film. And it was, and it's so good. And I can't wait to see the second part of it. So, mainly, like, with Miles and everything traveling, you could see... Um, Spider Punk, which is pretty cool. Um, the Spider Man, like in like the Indian version of Spider Man, that was also pretty cool. You got to see. Finally, we get to see what happened with uh, Gwen Stacy and like her universe and everything, and the Spider Gwen, as you can say, because she did talk about you know how, with Peter how they die, and then you get to see um, um Spider Man twenty nine with his whole shtick of like why he is doing what he's doing, so fixing the anomalies because. Originally, Miles was not supposed to be been by the 42 Spider. It was supposed to be for a different other universe, but you know, and uh, it was and it showed like the whole fate and everything, like everything is like inter 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 interconnected, like with the the webs of reality from like for yeah, Madam Web, like with the whole webs of reality, everything has to connect and everything, 
and you know with how Uncle Ben dies or with um, Captain Stacy and it fucking showed Amazing Spider-Man um, fucking Andrew Garfield that scene when Captain Stacy died in front of him ugh and also Tobey Maguire's uh, Tobey Maguire 2 with Uncle Ben I was like ugh bro it was so mm, 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 mm. I was great and it, the, and it also showed the original Spider-Man TV show too and I was like what the fuck they did they did so crazy with this movie man but um yeah for the most part it was just really really good all the way with all that and then miles is trying to like break like what's set in stone because his dad is gonna die next from the spot and from how it was in the beginning when you oh, there was like a clip on youtube with like a minute with um the spot he's not really a terrifying villain until into the film more like he gets more terrifying and then and then a lot gets like there's a lot of setup at the end to be continued to the next film that's gonna be like wow that's like that's wow that's wow but yeah the next title is gonna be called beyond the spider-verse so i can't wait to see how that goes and then we get to see more a little bit with miles character development in this film so i'm kind of glad we get to see how our boy is doing because it's just like man like they they could not just make like just a one-off uh, across um into the spider-verse film and not make any more than that i'm kind of glad that they continue on with this but um yeah so going into it it was it's just like it's not a lot to take it's pretty simple comic con common I forgot chronologically i guess but um what fucked me over like the most is when he went to the original universe where the spider bit him and he met his other version that is the prowler like miles met the other miles that was the prowler because i guess his fucking dad died and it was just like damn damn not my boy becoming the prowler and it was just like man it's usually uncle aaron that becomes the prowler and like you tell like and, and i was like like grabbing my friend i'm like ain't no fucking way miles is the prowler in this universe man and this universe is no spider-man so it's so it's so trippy to think about because it's just like damn like spy like miles and his own world shouldn't have been spider-man and then you know how would how it is with into the spider-verse because he sort of caused that version of spider-man to die and then he was next to, to take up that mantle i guess and then you know like the other universe with miles being the prowler i guess like that same spider this 42 spider from the other dimension or whatever was supposed to be Something's from you know that one that was supposed to bite whoever either it was miles or peter or who who else man <laughs> and it's just like bro he didn't make the cut to make spider-man which is funny a little bit but yeah other overall i give this film an 11 out of 10 um do i recommend watching this over and over again with your friends um probably four to five times i think it was i think it was just great all 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 of all of it all of it was just <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. if i can go back and watch it again like i i would but like i got i got work which is it but anyways guys it was just a pleasure it was just great i give props again to the animators they did such an amazing job animating animating this film from the beginning to the end and i'm glad i'm so i'm so i'm so hyped for the next film like my expectations for a beyond the spider verse has to be ha if it can't like listen 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 how i'm ranking this right now in across the spider verse tops into the spider verse okay if if beyond the spider verse can top that then like i would be mm, i would be so happy i will buy like all the cd like a cd trilogy of this and like just for the covers and then again because this film because these two films are really great but damn 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 i can i cannot understand how they managed to like do better you know that's crazy to me but anyways guys go watch it especially if you're a spider-man fan like if you're like a huge 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 spider-man fan you are going to love this film of its entirety from the beginning to the end and you're going to have an eye candy 
of a great time looking at all the animations and everything. And the soundtracks, too. Again, Metro Boomin did a good job. And he also has his own Spider-Man in there, too, which is also funny. Because I feel like that's 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 really funny because, like, I feel like he, I feel like it was like, oh, yeah, I'll do the music for this film if I can get, like, a little cameo. <laughs> it would, I don't know. I think it would some. I, I don't know if it was something like that or it was just like, yeah, why not or something. Anyways, guys, besides me rambling about how much I love Spider-Man and about this film, that's about it for me and everything. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Across the Spider-Verse, if you guys have watched it or not. Let me know all that down below in the comment section. If not, that's okay with me. But anyways, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sonic239, and I hope you all have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, whatever the occasion is. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all next time. Take care, take, take care stay safe, and yeah, guys, later.